Hi students, this is Vokumar, 12th Standard Business Mathematics and Statistics, Chapter Number 4, Continuation of Exercise 4.3. Now, Problem Number 5. Solve y squared minus 2xy into dx that is equal to x squared minus 2xy into dy. We can change this equation into dy by dx form or dx by dy form. So far we have completed 4 problems in this exercise all in the form of dy by dx only. So, we can do this problem by dy by dx method only. That will be easy. So, dy, let it be in the right hand side, dx comes to the denominator, then y squared minus 2xy divided by x squared minus 2xy, it comes to the denominator which implies this is a homogeneous differential equation only because degree of the numerator and degree of the denominator are same y power 2 here power 2 x and y are in multiplication if x and y are in multiplication you have to add the powers here 1 here 1 1 plus 1 2 here 2, here also 2, in between what sign we have minus, therefore we have to consider the common degree. So the common degree is 2 for the numerator, like that, here 2, 1 plus 1, 2, here we have minus, so once again I have to take the common degree, here also 2. So numerator and denominator degrees are same, therefore this is a homogeneous differential equation. Then, since we have dy by dx, this expression should be converted into the form of y by x. Since we have y square, I am going to divide the numerator and denominator by x square. So, dy by dx right as it is, this one. I am going to divide the numerator by x square, even the denominator should be divided by x square. For your reference, I write here, divide the numerator and denominator by x square. That is equal to, it can be separated as y squared by x squared minus 2xy by x squared whole divided by x squared by x squared minus 2xy by x squared. Here one x get cancelled, here both get cancelled, here one x get cancelled. That is equal to y squared by x squared, you can write y by x the whole squared minus 2y by x. divided by both get cancelled 1 minus 2y by x that is dy by dx. Now you write this is a homogeneous differential equation let it be equation number 1 you have to consider y equals vx differentiate with respect to x y with respect to x is dy by dx then uv method in uv method the first one v as it is differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 and x right as it is differentiation of v with respect to x is dv by dx which implies dy by dx equals v into 1 v plus x into dv by dx. 
y equal to vx means you can write v that is equal to y by x. Now equation 1 implies dy by dx. This dy by dx can be replaced by v plus x into dv by dx. Equation 1 implies v plus x into dv by dx that is equal to y by x can be y by x can be replaced by v therefore this is v squared minus 2v divided by 1 minus 2v v squared minus 2v divided by 1 minus 2v okay now write x into dv by dx as it is equals v square minus 2v divided by 1 minus 2v this plus v comes right hand side minus v equals v square minus 2v minus v into if you cross 1 minus 2v whole divided by 1 minus 2v the next step v square minus 2v minus v into 1 minus v minus into minus plus v into 2v is 2v square whole divided by 1 minus 2v that is equal to 2v square plus v square is 3v square minus 2v minus v that is equal to minus 3v these together these together divided by 1 minus 2v take 3 as common if you take 3 as common you will be getting v squared minus v divided by 1 minus 2 we have taken the constant only common right what is in the left hand side x into dv by dx now we can separate the variables since we have dv in the left hand side we have to take all the v terms to the left hand side so cross multiply 1 minus 2 v divided by you can retain the constant 3 in the right hand side itself constant let it be in the right hand side so you have to bring down that v squared minus v and dv here that is equal to 3 is here already cross multiply dx divided by x Now integrating on both sides, integral 1 minus 2v divided by v squared minus v into dv that is equal to 3 into integral dx by x. This is very easy, you can directly write it as a log x, direct formula is there, here there is no direct formula, right. You know the differentiation of v squared, v squared differentiation is 2v and v with respect to v is 1. So, 2v minus 1, here it is, but we have minus 2v plus 1. So, we can go for substitution method. I write here, let v squared minus v I consider as t. Differentiate with respect to v, since we have dv, we have to differentiate with respect to v v square differentiation is 2v minus v with respect to v is 1 and t with respect to v is dt by dv cross multiply 2v minus 1 into dv that is equal to dt but we have 1 minus 2v here so that i am multiplying minus on both sides if you multiply minus on both sides minus 1 becomes plus 1 2v becomes minus 2v into dv as it is and dt becomes minus dt so which implies integral 1 minus 2v into dv here it is what it is minus dt i write minus dt divided by v squared minus v we consider as t that is equal to 3 into integral dx by x 
generally we are retaining the minus sign in the right hand side only. So, before integration better to keep the negative sign always in the right hand side, but we have minus in the left hand side what to do multiply minus on both sides. So, here this minus become plus this plus 3 becomes minus 3 you just put implies only implies integral dt by t or 1 by t into dt same only minus 3 into dx by x or 1 by x dx. Now, we can integrate 1 by t integration with uh, respect to t sorry 1 by t into dt integration is log t introduce modulus at the end you can eliminate that modulus minus 3 into 1 by x integration is log of modulus of x. Since we have double logarithm, you can introduce the constant log c. Instead of c, you can introduce log c. Here, log of t modulus of t, you can write now t minus 3 log of modulus of x and it comes to the left hand side plus 3 of modulus log of x. That is equal to log c. Now, log t plus this 3 should be taken to the power that means we will be getting log x cube that is equal to log c. Here I have applied the power rule of logarithm I write the rule here since n log m that is equal to log m power n this is the power rule of logarithm. Now log t plus log x cube together log of t into x cube that is equal to log c. Here we applied the product rule of logarithm log m plus log n that is equal to log m n which implies here one logarithm there also one logarithm both log get eliminated you will be getting t x cube that is equal to c which implies t the final result in terms of x and y only the t ha can be replaced by t that is equal to v squared minus v. v squared minus v into x cube that is equal to c. Finally, v can be replaced by y by x since v that is equal to y by x. So, v square y squared by x squared v squared becomes y squared by x squared minus v that is equal to y by x into x cube that is equal to c. x squared x what is the LCM? x squared only LCM. After taking LCM, you have to divide x squared and x squared x squared x squared get cancelled 1. 1 into y squared is y squared like that x squared by x that is equal to x x into y is x y into x cube that is equal to c 1 x squared get cancelled only x will be there. So, which implies y squared minus x y into x that is equal to c. Okay. This is the answer, this is the book answer or even you can take y as common. If you take y as common, one, one more y will be there. If you take y as common, x will be there. Here x, now we are taking y as common, correct? x as it is, y into y, y squared, y into x is x, y that is equal to c. Both are correct only even you can stop the answer at this stage. So, problem number 5 is completed. I will be teaching problem number 6 in the next video. Thank you children.